using the music from the Taze community in France. There are some people I want to thank without whom this service would never have happened. David Hamilton, who is actually the one who leads this service, and to Judy and Jim Zerubik in the balcony who take care of all the tech that makes us sound and look good. By way of background, let me tell you the origins of the kind of, of, the kind of Teze service that we are going to experience this evening. In 1940, in the little village of Burgundy, Brother Roger wanted the community of faith to become a parable of community, a place where ways of trust and of reconciliation could be opened up among Christians and within the wider human body. Today, the Taze community numbers more than 100 brothers, made up of Roman Catholics and a variety of Protestant traditions from 25 countries. For a large part of the year, young people come from all the continents to participate in the meetings held at Taze from one Sunday to the next. Three times a day, everything on the hill of Taze stops. The work, the Bible studies, the discussions. The bells call everyone to church for prayer. Hundreds to thousands of mostly young people from all over the world come to pray and to sing together with the brothers of the community. Scripture is read in several languages, although tonight it will not be because uh, we are not able to show videos at this point in time. In the middle of each common prayer, there is a long period of silence, a unique moment of stillness before God, just as there will be tonight. In fact, after that long silence, following the tradition of the Taze community, you are invited to ponder this cross during the singing of the refrains as a way of expressing communion with all who suffer, of entrusting silently to Christ all that burdens you, as well as lifting up the difficulties of others. Near the end of the service, you will be invited to light a candle at home or here in person as a sign of the light of Christ spreading out into the world connecting us all across the digital divide. Once the final refrain of the service is finished, you are invited to extinguish your candle and, if you wish, spend some time in quiet contemplation of how the Spirit has touched you this evening. If you wish to make an offering, we would appreciate you donating to the local food bank, and I pray that you are able to allow the Spirit to flow in and through you during this prayer service. As the Spirit flows and speaks to our hearts on this land, we acknowledge this day that we gather for worship on the unceded lands of the Saugeen Ojibwe and the other indigenous peoples who preceded them, the original nations of this land, and we acknowledge with respect their history, their spirituality, and their culture. And now, into this sacred space, let us immerse ourselves in divine mystery. Sing praise and bless the Lord. Sing praise and bless the Lord. Peoples, nations, hallelujah. Sing praise and bless the Lord. Sing praise and bless the Lord. Peoples, nations, Alleluia. Sing praise and bless the Lord. Sing praise and bless the Lord. 
Our first reading comes from Job, chapter 42, verses 14, 10 to 17, from the New Revised Standard Version. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. 
Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before, and they ate bread with him in his house. They showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, and a dozen yoke of oxen, and a thousand donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first Jeremiah, the second Hiziah, and the third, third Aaron Achnish. In all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children, four generations, and Job died full, old and full of days. second reading is taken from Hebrews 
chapter 7, verses 23 to 28, in the New Revised Standard Version. Furthermore, the former priests were many in number because they were prevented by death from continuing in office. But Jesus holds his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able for all time to save those who approach God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered for the law, appoints as high priest those who are subject to weakness, but the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever.
Loving God, may justice flow like a river, reaching barren lands and sun-scorched deserts where people feel forgotten and hopeless. Let your water of life comfort them. Where children lie abandoned or abused, especially those in unmarked graves on the former residential school properties, let your water of life protect them. Where communities suffer at the hands of prejudice, especially black communities, communities with people of color, Islamic communities, and in particular, indigenous communities, let your water of life shield them. Answer our prayers, O oh God.
remember before you all poor and neglected persons, people it would be far too easy for us to forget. Those of us who are homeless and destitute, those of us who are old and the sick and all who have none to care for them, those of us longing for meaningful work, those of us living with mental illness and struggling with exclusion. Those of us navigating life in the midst of addictions. Those of us walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Those of us struggling with emotions that overwhelm and paralyze. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit, turning their sorrow into joy. Answer our prayers, O oh God. parent of all humanity, we as your people too often forget your message of love and of compassion. Instead, we rise up in conflict, pointing fingers of blame and of accusation, resorting to casting others as less than us, as somehow inferior. Our nations tribalize and engage in war, in terror, and in fear. We alienate between indigenous and settler, between political parties, between different perspectives of the collective good, between those with wealth and those without resources, between the formally educated and the street wise. In fact, we pray the hearts of all peoples and their rulers that by the power of your Holy Spirit, peace may be established among the nations founded in justice, righteousness, and truth, drawing all people to a place of reconciliation and of peace. Answer our prayers, O oh God. Oh, God, hear my prayer, oh, God, hear my prayer, when I call, answer me. Oh, God, hear my prayer, oh, God, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. You came, O oh Christ, to honor the least those forgotten, overlooked, and misjudged, you came to give, give first place to the last. Those of us left behind, misunderstood, or undervalued, you came to give a warm welcome to the lost, those of us who are orphaned, abandoned, and destitute. Help us to be your ears to listen to their cries. Help us to be your voice speaking out love and acceptance. Help us to be your feet walking beside those in need. Help us to be your hands to clothe, feed, and shelter them. You came for the least, the lost, and last of this world. Answer our prayers, O oh God.
You came to offer refuge to us all, O Christ, to surround us with your unconditional love and your healing power. Even as you suffered and died on the cross, your resurrection was our sign of hope and of new life. Whether we felt abandoned or lost, whether we felt lonely or alone, whether we felt abused or oppressed, whether we felt lost or confused, whether we felt misunderstood or despised, whether we face life or death, we are transformed through your self-giving. In response, we lift to you aloud and in the silence of our hearts, those for whom we offer prayers of companionship, of healing, of hope. Answer our prayers, O oh God. mighty downpour from heaven. May all your peoples hear your voice, living as you lead us all to live. May we go as you bid us to go, serve as you inspire us to serve, give as you teach us to give, until the earth is covered with your love, just as the waters cover the sea. Amen.
inspires us and leads us that we may know that we are gathered by the sender of love upheld by the one who came in love sent out in the power of love so go in peace and carry the light within <laughs> 